Lithium-ion batteries play an increasingly more important role as stores of electricity for electric vehicles and for interim storage of renewable energy. They are powerful and able to store large amounts of energy. Consequently, they must be really safe in transport, assembly and operation. Specific rules must be strictly complied with in the design and production of safe battery systems. Qualified manufacturers, such as automotive companies, apply these rules. However, there are also unsafe batteries on the market for solar domestic storage systems. Should they fail, they would represent an acute fire and explosion hazard. Ordinary users are not able to distinguish the unsafe from the safe systems just by their external appearance. To this day, not all possible failures of lithium-ion batteries are covered in the safety standards. So, how can lithium-ion batteries be made safe? This is a question treated by the Competence E project at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. Among other things, it serves to further advance the industrial manufacture of large-size lithium-ion cells. In addition, the scientists study the influence of manufacturing processes on cell quality and cell safety in a cell manufacturing plant of their own. Lithium-ion cells are made up of several layers of anode and cathode sheets which must be separated by a separator sheet like the one I'm holding in my hand. They must not contact each other internally because this could produce a short circuit in the cell generating very high currents between the anode and the cathode and heating the cell. These separator sheets I'm holding here are sensitive to heat. They melt at temperatures of only 130 degrees centigrade. In that case, large anode and cathode areas could contact each other, even higher short-circuit currents would flow, the cell would become even hotter, the separator would continue to melt down, and in a matter of seconds the cell would get out of control and catch fire. Faults in separators causing short circuits may be due to several reasons. Separators may be defective already in the production phase. Dirt particles may be left on the electrodes during production and penetrate the separator. Maloperation of the cell may give rise to internal short circuits, causing the cell to get out of control. Stationary domestic stores of solar energy contain separators 1,000, 2,000 or more square meters in area. The requirement of fault-free lithium-ion cells is one or two thousand times stricter in these applications than in smartphones or laptops or video cameras. In some respect, this means new production technologies and much better knowledge of the fault mechanisms causing such a separator to break down than has been available in the past. There are a number of measures to be taken. First, the separators can be coated with ceramic particles which reliably separate the anode from the cathode even at high temperatures. In addition, cell manufacturers must design and develop production techniques which allow such cells to be made under absolutely clean conditions in the absence of dirt particles also on a technical scale. However, safety is important not just at the level of individual lithium-ion cells. Also, when these cells are combined in a battery, the causes of safety problems must be recognized and removed. As in an electric vehicle, stationary batteries are shaken and pushed also in transport and installation. The latest crash test simulations allow the KIT to predict whether batteries would be truly safe under those conditions. In principle, it's possible to come to grips with the safety technology of stationary lithium stores. We just need to do what has been done very successfully in automotive engineering. This is an example of a battery management system of the kind used in cars. These systems considerably enhance safety. Basically, this means double failure safety. Transferring these automotive processes and structures from the development of large vehicle batteries to stationary home storage systems in the end would make your domestic storage system as safe as your electric vehicle. This must be our goal.